What's up, everybody? My thought today is I uh, had the farrier here and got my three-year-olds done. And one of them, my three-year-olds, grows a lot more heel than toe, especially in the back, but in the front also. And we try to make sure that we don't go much over four weeks on this one, especially when the weather's warmer since he grows a little faster. Uh, so we were approaching five weeks there and it was one of the three-year-olds that I had my veterinary uh, had do a once-over and, uh, and the joints flexed well and everything looked really good on this cold except that he did palpate slightly sore on the suspensories and a horse that has a little bit more heel uh, than toe will put more strain on the suspensory versus the opposite where a horse that doesn't have enough heel and too much toe will put more strain on the tendon so my thought today is knowing that that my horse was was having some strain on his suspensory due to probably having worked hard last week since I did increase a little bit the level of work just because I wanted the prognosis on the on the on the veterinary exam to be as accurate as possible well uh, so he, he uh, that put a little bit more strain on his suspensory because his heels were a bit longer. So he had the weekend to relax and, uh, and early this week when I had the farrier come over and do him, uh, he took off a lot of heel on him and balanced him very nicely. But knowing that, it's important that today I, I take it a little bit easier on him, that I don't go out there and do hard maneuvers or, or you know, and, and, and don't ride him too much and put too much strain on his legs because now there's been a drastic change in his balance. We took a lot of, we took a lot of heel off, which will relieve some pressure on the suspensory, but it's still a change. So I, I truly believe that it, it needs at least a day or two to settle before I feel I can once again, uh, um, you know, ride him uh, the, the way I would normally. So I just wanted to put this out there for, for I think everyone to keep in mind whenever you're, you shoot your horses, especially if it's if they're at five weeks or even more and, and it, there's a drastic change in, in how much in the heel or in the toe of the horse, remember that it'll put extra strain on the tendon or the suspensory depending on which it is. And so the first day you might wanna just you know, take it a little bit easy. Also, uh, knowing that today I'm gonna I'm gonna put the polo wraps directly on his legs so that I have extra support on the suspensories. Uh, make sure that I that I apply it, you know, perfectly with with double wrap in the the ankle to really support the ankle and and really support the suspensory branches and uh, and just kind of go a little bit the extra mile on the on the day after uh, the vet told me that you know there was a little bit of strain on the suspensories and that was probably due to the little bit uh, extra heel that he had and and now I, that I just got it removed uh, yesterday well today I'm gonna take it a little bit easy on him and 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 do it that way and uh, so anyways I just want to put that out there and uh, I think that's something that that we should take into consideration when training our horses and i hope that that you will too have a good one cheers